Alright guys, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be going over the ideal gas law. Now let me tell you the difference between the ideal gas law and the combined gas laws. The combined gas laws deals with uh, multiple givens uh, or ask about, basically you have, let me just sum this up. Usually two temperatures or maybe two pressures or two volumes get mentioned. And you know that's all they ever ask about they ask you to compare them or sometimes they'll ask about all six and you know maybe have one unknown or sometimes they'll ask about uh, four of them meaning three are given and one's unknown you find the other but the ideal gas law here deals with uh, basically finding uh, a pressure a volume and a temperature but on this one What's interesting is if you look here, is the n. The n represents the number of moles. So usually what they'll do in these questions is they'll ask about the number of moles of a gas or the number of grams of a gas. So, and if you look at this one, there's this value r, which is a gas constant, and the gas constant is always 0 0.0821 uh, liters times atmospheres divided by the quantity of moles times Kelvin. Now the mole and the Kelvin are in the denominator and the numerator is the liters in the atmospheres. I always just remember this is uh, the word latum moq. But anyway the big thing here is make sure that your atmospheres excuse me that your pressure is in atmospheres and that your temperature is in Kelvin no matter what. Okay so just make sure you memorize this. Uh, one of my professors always referred to this equation as the pervert equation, which sounds like pervert, but you know it's pervert. Anyway, this is the ideal gas law, and we're gonna you know use it, and I want to explain to you how to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look. Uh, here's the steps for doing these gas problems. If I was you, I'd pause this now so you can read over it. But I'm gonna go ahead and move past it so we can get started on our problem. This is the problem that we're gonna be working tonight. Uh, let me try to pull it back up here. Uh, it says, how many grams of argon are in a 12 liter cylinder of argon at a pressure of 57.8 atmospheres and a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius? So really the thing to do here is actually just try to write down the information that's given. Okay, So let's go ahead and try to do that on a sheet of paper. I'm trying to get this thing to line up good. There we go. Finally. That's where I wanted it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, look at the webcam. I've got a nice sheet of blank paper here. So let's list the information that we know. They're asking us about the number of grams. So up here I'm just going to write a number sign grams. Okay. And I keep reading and they give me a volume. And they tell me the volume is 12 liters. And I keep reading and, oh yeah, they said this is for argon, AR, on the periodic table. And as I keep reading, uh, they tell me it has a pressure, which is good. Pressure equals 57, oh, they're really nice, 57.8 atms. So that's atmospheres. And a temperature, oh, they're a little mean here. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Now the one that's a no-no here is the Celsius. Remember, we need this in Kelvin. So we need to add 273 to it. Now I know a lot of you are already screaming. It's supposed to be 273.15. Well, <laughs> once you add these two together by sig fig rules, you're only going to keep, uh, you know, the you know whole numbers. Anyway, this actually for our temperature then is T equals what is that? 298. Check the math real quick. 3 and 5 is 8. 7 and 2 is 9. Yep, 298. Now remember, Kelvin, it doesn't need a degree sign. It just needs the letter K. Now, uh, the only thing missing is, hmm, what? The gas constant, that's right. R equals 0 0.0821, and the units on that is L-A-T-M, remember I always say LATM, okay, divided by MOLK, M-O-L-K, which is moles and Kelvin. Now, let's look at the uh, ideal gas law. It's PV equals NRT. Well, judging from this equation, the best way that, or the closest way we're going to get to grams is actually determining the number of moles. <laughs> so we need to get the N by itself. So to get N by itself, you don't move anything on the left side. So you just write it back down, PV. 
But to get rid of this RT, you have to divide both sides by RT, or basically pick it up and move it down to the bottom. All right. So let's go ahead and fill this out. Uh, remember, N is the number of moles. Pressure was what? 57 point, here it is, 57.8 ATM. And what's my volume? 12 liters. Divided by, what's the gas constant? 0 0.0821 Latum over Moak. And what's the temperature? 298 Kelvin. All right, we need to punch this in on a handy dandy cheetah later. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pull up a real cheap calculator, sorry. <laughs> If you're wondering what operating system I'm using, I'm using uh, Linux, Ubuntu, the new one, the 10.04 LTS. All right, so let's type this in. We've got, uh, clear this out, uh, 57.8 times 12. And that's my two numbers in the top. I get 693.6. Then I want to divide it by, well, my first denominator is 0. 0.0. .0 eight two one and that gives me that big number now look I still got another denominator so I need to divide this again by 298 because I got two denominators I just don't like using parentheses so I just punch it in the calculator like that and that gives me this number now looking at this I need to keep three sig figs that's a gas constant so don't use it and determine the number of sig figs because it's a constant. Just pretend that it goes on forever. Well, judging from the sig fig rules, I should keep 28.3. Now remember, N is moles, and that's moles of argon. The question wanted to know how many grams of argon. So I need to take this one step further. I need to set up a, uh, uh, a stoichiometry, a dimensional analysis step down here. So I take 28.3 moles of argon, put it over 1, and then down here I'm going to write 1 mole of argon is how many grams of argon. Well, I need a periodic table for that. I've got one right here. Now, if you look at the periodic table, you'll see the argon is 39. See where the mouse is? Is 39.3. 95. All right, so let's pull that back up. That's where I got the 39.95 from. Equals, check this out, moles of AR cancels out moles of AR. Now let's punch this on, on the calculator. <clears throat> so let's clear that out. So we've got 28.3 times, yeah, 28.3 times 39 point 95 now we're still going to keep three sig figs because this is pretty much like a constant came off the periodic table and this is only three sig figs too so anyway uh, we're going to keep three sig figs so even though this says 1130.585 I can't use all that okay I can only use three sig figs you see that three sig figs so my answer is going to be one now look one two I gotta swing it three times. It's gonna be one point one three times ten. And if you look, I had to swing it one, two, three times to the third grams of argon. Now, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you are confused in any way, just watch the video again uh, over and over and over if you have to. If you need a review on how to uh, convert into uh, scientific notation. There's a video from Unit 1. You can watch it. Alright guys, I hope it helps. The only thing left is the credits. And here they are. Alright guys.